to have a place where there's plenty of room, plenty of opportunity to relax, to refresh, to be prepared and be in top physical form, condition, mentally and physically for doing that service. And so as we come out here to, tonight to observe this open house and to dedicate this place for that service and to those people who, who do serve here. We just ask that the presence of your spirit lift us up, give us courage and strength, bless this station and those who serve it. In Jesus' name. Again, welcome. Thank you for coming here. When we, myself and David Lampert, became the chief and the secretary treasurer of the Buckeye Valley Fire District, one of our highest priorities is to try and improve the uh, living conditions of our firefighters who were living in some pretty Yay! cramped quarters, or I wouldn't even call them quarters, just places to be. <laughs> <laughs> and that was one of our highest priorities. Well, four and a half years later, I think we're close to getting that done. The people I'd like to thank in this process would be David for being right there with me for those four years and, and committing to all this. Even though we didn't agree on a lot, we did agree on that. <laughs> I'd like to thank our assistant chief, Mark Alexander, because I'm a guy that kind of like has a lot of ideas. He has to figure out how we're going to do it. <laughs> and he does a good job of doing that. I'd like to, I don't know if he's here, Mark Trankina. He was uh, our consultant in the beginning of this because when we started doing this, I was like, I have no idea what we're doing. Because I've never built anything like this. I've never built a birdhouse. So, um, John Warren is here. Chief, I was just kidding. <laughs> so, like, he didn't like me for that. <laughs> but we got along great. John was the guy that would sit there and when Eric, where's Eric? Oh, yeah. This guy? Very artistic, but some of his artistic vision is quick and muddy, I think. <laughs> but I learned a lot from Eric. I learned that that is not glass, that's glazing. But John was the guy that helped us get this under control and get Eric under control and make this almost affordable. The first people I'd like to thank is Gerald Adams from Perlman Architects. Gerald was a guy I've never seen somebody so detail oriented. And I'd like to thank all of our firefighters been patient with us for the last four and a half years because they have been in some pretty bad conditions. They've been in single white traders, they've been in buildings where they just kind of put up a bedroom, they're sleeping in double bunks, eating outside in the bay because they don't have a place for their table. Almost got all that fixed. I want to thank them very much for their patience and their dedication to serving the And I'd also like to thank our public for supporting us in everything that we do. Doug! Was our super on that job? And I'd like to say thank you. To oh, no, Doug lives way on the east side. I think it's like a, a west suburb of Payson or something like that. <laughs> Seventy-five miles away. <laughs> Seventy-five miles away, and he drove out here all the time. He was going so fast, I think we forgot this here. And I want to give it back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you're missing it on the job you're on now. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Joe Weathersby. I'm the chairman for the uh, governing board for Buckeye Valley Fire District. Uh, Chief covered a lot of the, uh, the thanks to the people that uh, put this thing together, uh, that made it happen, uh, come to life. What I'd like to do is extend a hand to the community to please use this building. Uh, we have a room up front that's a community room. Uh, we use it as a training room as well, but uh, we would love to see the community use this. this. This station become a pillar of this community out here. Rainbow Valley has uh, been in our district for a very long time. Uh, I would love to see this building utilized by you uh, and, and, and for you. This is your building. Uh, the firefighters that, that work here are your firefighters. And uh, I would like that, that sense of family to be reinstilled out here. I know we've, we've moved a few times during the construction of this station, uh, make the whole time continuing service to the, to the area. But uh, now that we're here, we're here. Uh, this, and this building is yours, and, and that, that is what it's for. So uh, again, I would like that hand to be extended uh, and this place to be utilized. Uh, this to be something that uh, the kids are proud to come see, uh, come walk, come tour. Uh, moms and dads can come down here and uh, show their kids uh, how a firefighter lives, what a day in the life of a firefighter is. Uh, 
Uh, I know that was something, as when I was a kid, that I looked forward to and enjoyed. Uh, I was a volunteer with the district for quite a few years before I uh, got elected in this seat and, uh, and love this place. And it means a lot to me, not just this station, but Buckeye Valley Fire District in general. So, again, we'd just like to uh, welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, glad that we had the turnout we had. And uh, let's, uh, let's make this place the pillar of this community it needs to be. That's all I have. Thank you. The important thing that's important about this building is the exterior is R48, and that's development of an ICF walls on the exterior. Well, that this facility is about $10,000 less a year in utility costs, over $500,000 on the life of the building. That's a huge accomplishment by this department and this district to invest in that kind of fire station. Thank you to Scott and to Mark Alexander. They were the guys that had the vision. They gave us the ideas. Uh, John Marone, our pre-construction project manager, who's back here. As the chief told me before, he's responsible to make sure that we stayed on time, on budget. Whitney Bunn, project manager. Doug Beaver, the superintendent. The design team. The design team is led by Ken Powers. He's the principal of Pullman Architects and the architect director on the project. Eric Thompson, graphics people, the project job captains, the drafters, everybody that's involved in the facility of this nature. It takes many, many hours um, to just tell you how long this has been going on. Our journey started in August of 2009. Each one of our sub-consultants and project engineers, some are here today, they're the ones that actually ensure that this building gets built to the last test of time, meet the criteria of the code, and first of all, get through Maricopa County. And any of you that's done that, that's an obstacle by itself. And we work for the fire district, and we hope that everybody supports their efforts, the community in which they serve, and thank you again. I'd like to bring them all up here. and. Just so you can see the team that put this together. Again, it's teamwork, and, and they do just an amazing job. So, Doug Beaver, if you could come up, and Matt Buchanan, Whitney Bunn, and John Marone. And also, I'd like to include Jamie Jacobs, if you could come up. Um, sorry, Jamie. Sorry, <laughs> Jamie. Um, we have been part of uh, this group. As, uh, has, we've done a lot of work in the Buckeye area over the last uh, seven or eight years and just been so honored to be part of the Buckeye community. It's an unbelievable place to work and a great partnership. And I, one thing I wanted to recognize is Jamie Jacobs is our, uh, lives in Buckeye and is our community relations person for the region and does just an amazing job. And she really saw this project uh, from the beginning and, and uh, helped work uh, with the community to, uh, to see it to fruition. So I wanted to recognize Jamie for her efforts in that as well. But again, it's all about teamwork and uh, not just our team, but obviously um, Matt Buchanan told me every, every Monday operations meeting, he said every day that uh, Chief Bembo and, and this uh, uh, team from, from uh, Buckeye Valley Fire are the best owners we've ever worked with. So uh, that tells a lot. And uh, the teamwork and the collaboration from that is what is a result of this success. And then last, uh, obviously, but not least, uh, Perlman is just an amazing firm. And as you can see, the results of their design, uh, it's just a beautiful facility. And, yeah, we'll all remember this and drive by here and, and think about this today. And our kids and grandkids will do the same. So, thank you. Alright, that's it. Come on inside for food and refreshments and explore your building.